Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we had, we have looked at addition, let us now have a look at subtraction. Now subtraction of a rational number is the same as adding the additive inverse of the rational number that is being subtracted. Now what does this mean? So this way. So let us understand what we mean by this. Let, let's take a simpler example with whole numbers. Now what do we mean when we say 5 minus 3? So we are trying to subtract 3 from 5. But this is actually same as 5 plus minus 3. So whether we say we want to subtract 3 from 5 or we say we want to add minus 3 to 5, they mean the same. So in a very similar way, if we deal with rational numbers, let's say we say my 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So this is same as saying that 1 by 2 plus minus 3 by 2. So basically you subtract a number or you add the additive inverse of that number. They mean the same thing. So subtracting a number is the same as adding its additive inverse. So let us do subtraction. So let us look at the first example. So in the first example, let's do this 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2. So this is nothing but 1 by 2 plus the additive inverse of 3 by 2, which is minus 3 by 2. So this here we have the same denominator. So this would be 2. So numerator would be 1 plus minus 3. So that is equal to 1 minus 3 divided by 2, which is equal to minus 2 by 2, which is equal to minus 1. So that when you subtract 3 by 2 from 1 by 2, you get minus 1. So this is our first example. Now let us look at another example. So we will take a slightly different example in this case. So here we will assume that we have two numbers like this where the denominators are different. Let's say minus 3 by 5 minus minus 1 by 2. So let's say this is what you have to subtract. Now we know that that subtracting a number is same as adding its additive inverse. So basically this can be written as minus 3 by 5 plus the additive inverse of minus 1 by 2 which is plus 1 by 2. So minus 3 by 5 plus 1 by 2. Now how do we add this? Now they have different denominators so we have to find out the LCM of the denominator. So LCM of 2 and 5 would be 10. Now minus 3 by 5 if you multiply this with such a number so that the denominator of the result is 10. So you multiply it by 2. So you get minus 6 by 10. Similarly for 1 by 2 what is that number which you should multiply? It is nothing but 5. So you get 5 by 10. So therefore minus 3 by 5 can be written as minus 6 by 10 plus 1 by 2 can be written as 5 by 10. So this is minus 6 plus 5 divided by 10 which is equal to minus 1 by 10. So this would be the result. So this is how you perform subtraction. So in subtraction you have no new logic. It is the same concept just that subtracting a number means adding the additive inverse of the number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.